Hi everyone, I'm Janneke and welcome to my channel Books and Stitches. This is a floss tube vlog where I will show you my stitching throughout the next week, two weeks-ish period. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. I love all your comments so I yeah I really appreciate all of it I don't have many people who leave me comments which is totally fine don't feel pressured to but I love interacting with everyone who does so thank you so much if you've left a comment before um it is just really nice to read so yes uh anyway let's get started um if you're new here I have eight projects that I work on seven of which are in like a rotation where I have a goal for them and I pull one out at a time, work on that until the goal's done, put it away, pull the next one until all seven have their goal reached. I try to get the goals done within like a month, but that's not always possible, which is fine. Which That's why I set the goals because I was noticing when I was really busy that um, some projects got very little time if I still wanted to work on everything. So I've just decided to set these like stitch count goals and it can take however long it needs to, whether that's three weeks or two months, it's fine. So um, currently we're like partway through the rotation. So I've worked on, I think two projects already. Uh, I've worked on my gift piece, which was actually a finished last video and a new start to replace it. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And I've worked on my fairy tale collage by Soda Stitch, but together we'll pick out the next one or I guess you'll watch me pick it out. Um, but the, there's another project that I'm going to tell you about first, which is my eighth project. That is my daily project. I tried to get around 50 stitches done on it in a day. It is six by Taylor and Cromwell. Um, it is technically six different patterns that I'm combining into one. Um, don't mind this the piece has gone through some stuff i think i've spilled liquid on it or and then it just yeah it doesn't matter you can see what it will look like basically i'm just working on this border it is not chartered because it's technically just six different charts but i'm adding it because i like the way it look and i want it looked and i wanted it all on one piece so i'm working on the border and last video i did some math and if i continue doing 50 stitches a day on this, I should have it finished by the end of the year, which is super exciting. So I have gotten the full width done on the bottom last video. So I will show you my starting point. Um, yeah, this is, I hope you can see it. It's so big. I can't see what you see. Uh, this is what it looks like right now. So yeah, I hope you can see it. Um, as you can see, four of the blocks are already done and we're, I'm currently working on this fifth one of the six. So yeah, I need to put a hoop somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I might work on one of the other horizontal lines or I might bring this up vertically. Um, it will just depend on whatever I'm in the mood for when I start it, considering I am at the point I need to move the hoop. Um, but this, We'll get some steady progress as this vlog goes on. I will show it to you either at the end of the vlog or in the meantime, if I have to move the hoop. So I'll put the hoop somewhere, stitch what I can within that section. And if before the end of the vlog, I'll move the, I need to move the hoop again, I'll show it to you again, but otherwise you'll see it at the end of the vlog. But yeah, I don't know how many stitches are done on this. Cause like I said, there's no patterns and I'm not being keeping counts. Um, I have like calculated how long everything needs to be so I can math it out um, but I'm not going to do that. I might at the end when I want to see like how many black stitches I've done but for right now just know I will do about 50 stitches a day and continue working on this border. So I'm going to pause it real quick and we're back. So we need to pick the next whip in my rotation stitch on to do my like regular stitching on every day. Like I said, these two are already done. So those won't be in the mix, but the other five, I'm just gonna shuffle and we'll pick one. I don't really know if there's one I'm more in the mood for than the others right now. Um, 
so that's good i guess that i'm doing this um i'm kind of in the mood for my big disney piece but i also will be gone all of tomorrow morning and it's not something i can take with me but i will have time to stitch probably where i'm going so but if i pick it i'll probably just try and like get a head on six that's also fine um yeah let's just pick it and see Ooh, Sabrina, that's exciting. I've been listening to her new album a lot. So uh, Sabrina refers to a custom piece by Taylor and Cromwell. So same designer as the sixth piece. This is um, one I custom ordered based on their poster style uh, projects that they have. They have a lot of them mostly musical based. Uh, I asked for one about Sabrina Carpenter's album emails I can't send and they were kindly enough to accept that order. I did pay for it. They didn't gift it to me or anything, but they were able to make a great project, like a great design. And yeah, I'm excited to stitch that. Sabrina came out with a new album in August, I think. End of August, beginning of September. I think it was end of August. And I've been listening to it nonstop since it came out. So I'm very excited to work on this. Um, I'm kind of like, ooh, should I get it? one for her new album as well but uh trying to hold off on that um because there's so many things i want to stitch so i'll finish this one first and then if it's finished and i still really want it uh i might order again for them but um yeah i absolutely love this album i'm it's like my favorite ever i think so i'm very happy to have this one i will show you what it will look like once I grab the whip and start working on it and I'll also show you my starting point because I don't have it like within reach I should have just grabbed my basket of projects before start I started filming but I didn't think of that so um, I'll grab it when I start stitching for today and then I will show you the starting point as well as what it will look like finished um, yeah see you in a bit I am back it's a little later I got a bit cold so I did put on like a blouse like on top of my shirt but it's the same day it's like maybe half an hour later or so um this is what my emails I can't send lyric poster will look like so yeah I really love it um I keep forgetting things. I wanted to like grab my tablet so that I could tell you the percentage. So let me do that. <laughs> I wanted to like look it up beforehand, but yeah, no, I totally just forgot about that. Um, I'll open Pattern Keeper. There's no back stitching, so it's completely like compatible with Pattern Keeper, which is great. Um, I am at forty one point four. 13% right now. It is a total of 20,594 stitches and this is my starting point. So yeah, I really love it. Um, this, her sitting there with her laptop is based on the album cover. Then obviously all the words are lyrics from her songs or will be once they're like finished. <laughs> And the border is uh, inspired by a heart of like lights that she had up on stage during her tour, which I wanted to like be included in some way. So this is like those lights. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put the hoop in here and then just work on it. Last time I worked on this, I focused heavily on the border. So this time I'll probably do the words in this section. But this is my starting point. Uh, I think I forgot to mention it, but my goal for this piece is just a thousand stitches. So it's not that much, but we should get it done pretty quickly and then we can move on to the next goal. Uh, I really love this piece. I started it on my birthday in February. Uh, it is basically all I stitched on in February, I think, or like for half of February. So I got a lot of it done then. But yeah, I love it. There are not too many colors like... Most of the colors are in her or in the laptop and then don't appear in the rest at all. And then there are, I think, two colors that only appear in the border and the rest is just four colors that do have a lot of stitches. But like, yeah, right now I can just take four colors with me and take it with me easily. So that's also quite nice. Um, Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be stitching on. I think that is 
all I can tell you right now. Um, I will be working here on, um, uh, yeah, the lyrics. Um, your corner of my mind is well established, is what it will be. And I will go like around the corner, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna start working now. I don't have anything more to say. Um, I don't know the fabric count. I think it's 14 or 16, 18 maybe. It's not 14, it's smaller than that. 16 or 18. It's like a beigey color that I tried to, I tried to like find a fabric that kind of matched the album cover. Looks a bit more white on camera than it does in real life. I think my shirt isn't white either, so. Like, yeah. Oh, okay, now. Uh, I can't really get it to show up. It's like a yellow, wee, beige, cray, cream color. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to stitch on it now. See you in the next clip. Hey all, it is still the same day. It's very late, which is why the lighting is terrible. I'm about to head to bed, but I got so much stitching done today that I just wanted to show you real quick. Look at this. I finished this whole phrase. So it now says your corner in my mind and then below the hoops it would say is well established. Um, but yeah, it looks so cool. I finished it. It was 529 stitches and I am shocked I got that done in just today because I also started stitching quite late I feel like. I mean not super late, not in the evening or anything, but not until like three o'clock-ish. So not early either. So yeah, I'm so happy with how much I got done. Um, so I got over halfway done with the goal already. It was just one color, so it was really easy stitching. Um, I'm gonna try to do uh, Ignoring Tornado Warnings in black, which is here tomorrow, or at least part of it. Um, it would be really nice if I could get the other 471 stitches done tomorrow and just finish this goal in two days. That would be amazing. But I don't know if that's possible because this was way more than my usual, especially the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm so happy with this. And I am going to go to bed now because I'm really tired. I really pushed to get this done. Because like around here, I was like, oh, I'm tired. I'm just going to go to bed. And I was like, no, you're so close to finishing this phrase. Just finish the phrase. <laughs> Get to 500 stitches. So yeah, that um, lined up very quickly. Because uh, very nicely. Because I was like, I really want to get to 500 stitches and get half the golden. And I also was like, I really want to get this phrase done. And then when I finished this phrase, I was at 529. So that lined up really nicely. I got both of those goals done. Um, yeah, going to go to bed tomorrow, we'll be stitching black. The only issue of stitching a lot of black is that I'm also stitching a lot of black on six and I tend to not want to stitch on six when I stitch a lot of black on my whip, but I'm going to try and push through that because I'm really excited to finish six as well. So we'll just try. Uh, I'm going to be gone for most of tomorrow morning. So that is also a bit of an issue. I'm going to take this with me. I don't think I'll take six with me because I think that's just too much stuff. I'm going to take this with me as well. Just my skein of black. And then we'll see what we get to. And then tomorrow in the afternoon or evening, I will try to put in 53 stitches on six. The line I'm doing right now is 53 long. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. See you probably tomorrow. Hey, it is now Monday. I am feeling pretty ill. Uh, I feel as if I have a fever. The, like, thermometer? Is that what it's called in English? Uh, I keep saying I don't, but it really feels as if I do. Um, but because of that, I am also very impulsive. So I have come up with the idea to start a bunch of new whips. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I, like, am aware of the impulsiveness when I feel ill. So I'm going to at least wait until I'm no longer ill and see if I'm still, like, driven to do that. But I figured I'd share the idea with you anyway, right? Because what else am I going to do? So I've been watching a lot of Floss Dude trying to catch up with everything. And the last couple of videos I've watched were by Jen, the caffeinated stitcher, caffeinated crafter. And she is doing this, like, temperature whip thing. Uh, it was inspired by Siska Allen, I believe. I've watched a couple of her videos as well. And she does the same thing, but with um, a lot more projects. Like, um, let me first describe what Jen does and then I'll say what Siska Allen does. Um, 
Jan has chosen 10 projects and then whatever each day she looks at the temperature and then the last digit of the temperature she does 100 stitches on the whip she has assigned to that digit so it's like zero through nine um Siska Allen who like came up with the ID um has a lot more whips like she has specific temperatures like 21 degrees is this whip 22 degrees is this whip etc um I would not start <laughs> that many projects, but I was thinking about having 10 new starts and then doing it the way Jen does. Now, Jen does the low and the high temperature. I'm definitely not going to do that. I would only be doing the high temperature if I end up doing this. I'm also not sure yet if I'm going to try to do 100 stitches or 50 stitches or just one thread and however many stitches that is. Um, I don't know yet, but I did just spend like a lot of time while I was laying on the couch feeling like crap thinking of which projects I would start if I were to do that so I figured I would show that to you again no guarantees I'm actually gonna do this but I might so let's start with the two that I don't own yet so I try to mainly focus on the projects I already own but there are two things that I've been wanting to do for ages. So I figured I haven't bought it yet, but I know I've been wanting to do this for months, like over a year. So the first one is a temperature cell. I'm pretty sure I would want to do the magic potion one from Teeny Weeny X Stitch. Um, I don't think I'll remember to put in a picture, I'll be honest, but there might be a picture of it. Um, but I've been wanting to do a temperature cell for my birth year. So I don't know. 100% if it's going to be that one but I think it will it might but I might end up picking a different one but I really want to do a temperature cell for the year in which I was born so that is project number one and then project number two the one I don't own is the black work pride flag from peppermint purple again if I remember I'll put in a picture but no guarantees I will remember I probably won't but that is a black a black work piece that is well, a pride flag. It's pretty small, so it would go really quickly, but uh, I've been wanting to do that for ages. So, um, yeah, I'm queer, and I used to volunteer for, like, a queer youth group. I had to quit doing that because of my energy, but I like to still be, like, have some little reminders, I guess, that I'm, like, in that community because, like, I live on my own, so it's not, like, a big part of my life at the moment, but it has been a big part of my life, like, throughout many years and if I ever like start dating it will be a big part again but for now it's kind of like in the background and I would like to like have a little memory of it a little momentum so that is the second one and then for the rest I will actually show them to you so I printed out a lot of things this is every pattern I own it is way too many um some of these are from uh cross stitch magazines I have access to from my library but um still those are the ones I wanted to do that I took pictures of and stuff so yeah uh I decided that if I were to do this I would have a mix between like bigger projects and smaller projects so I'd really try to do that so I picked two full coverages one of which is the Robbins. it is uh by Fred Geeks and the artwork is by Zindi Zone. No, Zindi S.D. Nielsen. So this is what that would look like. Uh, this is my smallest full coverage, so that's why I chose this one, but also I just love it. Um, I would not be stitching the background. I want to say obviously, like that's so much white, I would not be stitching that. But yeah, she looks beautiful and I really want to stitch her. And then the other one is another one by Fred Geeks. Um, it is Persephone. So this is based on art by Krista Book, and I have loved this art since before it was charted by Fred Geeks. And I've wanted to stitch both Persephone and Corey. Corey? Corey? I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, for ages. These are like companion pieces, obviously, but it's based on the myth of Persephone. There are myths in which she was born Corey. She was named Corey, which translates just to girl. So she basically didn't have a name and she was like the daughter of Demeter and then when she was kidnapped by Hades um she became Persephone which translates to Chaos Bringer and I've loved that 
story for a long time. I love the dichotomy of being like both the goddess of spring and the queen of the underworld. So I really want to stitch both of these. And there's not really a reason why I decided to do Persephone first. I think it might be because Curry is more colorful and probably will be more fun. But also this is like Persephone. Yeah, that's the one I chose. Um, the sizes aren't the same. I didn't realize that when I bought it. Um, so I've decided to like cut off a part of Corey's design and hope that they'll end up like almost the same. For these again, I won't be stitching the backgrounds. Um, it's going to be more difficult to figure out what is background and what isn't, but I've been like slowly working on that for Persephone's. That's also why I'm choosing, choosing Persephone first because I'm already like really far away from moving the background and pattern keeper and I've not started Corey's yet. But yeah, that is the one. Again, it's not that big for a full coverage. Like it's 280 by 440 ish. And a lot of that's background that I won't be stitching. So yeah, those are the two full coverages I picked. Then I decided I wanted to do a seasonal sampler by cooler designs because i love those pieces i've bought all four of them not that long ago like a couple months ago like maybe two months ago um and i've i decided i wanted to start one of them um i went with spring because i think that's my favorite of the four but i love all of them so i don't know that for sure also they are all in like these plastic things i hope you can see it okay with glare and stuff but um yeah i still feel like crap so i'm not gonna pull them all out because uh that's way too much effort. But yeah, this is spring. That's the one I decided to start with. But I have all four of them and I want to do all four of them. But I figured one of them for these 10 projects. Then um, I really want to start Amphitrite by Bella Filipina, which is this one based on another Greek goddess. Uh, Amphitrite is the wife of Poseidon. And yeah, I just love this. I'm the dolphin and the search show. Yeah, I already have fabric for this one. This is like, I think the only one I already have fabric for, which is nice because that's going to be a big like, ooh, am I actually going to do this? Because fabric is expensive. But yeah, so that is another one. I don't remember how many I've shown you already. But then the next one I chose is a really small one. It is a freebie from Taylor and Cromwell. It is two asexuals sitting in a tree, S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Please call the fire department. We are stuck. I just love that. Uh, I'm ace, uh, asexual. So I yeah, I, when I saw this, I immediately loved it. I wanted to buy it immediately. Uh, it was freebie, which was amazing. But this is a very small one, so it won't take very long. But like I said, I wanted a mix of small and bigger ones. So this is one I chose. I think it's just so funny that it's like, instead of kissing, it's like, please call the fire department, we're stuck, get us out of here. Like, I feel like I would be way more likely to be that than uh, kissing someone. Uh, anyway, then there are the Mother Earth designs. These are from, I don't remember which cross stitch magazine it is, I'm sorry. Um, but th these were a series last year in one of the cross stitch magazines. I think I have access to just cross stitch, cross stitch world and another one. So it's one of those. I don't remember which one, I'm sorry. Uh, I wanted to start one of them. I decided I would start autumn considering I started spring for the samplers. So I figured a uh, different season. But this is the one I would be starting. Um, this is definitely not very well visible because I just decided to put all of them on one page. I did that with a lot of like the magazine pieces because there were just so many um so that is one i think there's one more no 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 there are two more i think and then i think i've shown yeah i think i've shown you eight so far so the next one is another really small one it is pumpkin pals it's also from a magazine again i don't remember which one if i actually started i will obviously let you know but this is another very tiny one i just thought it was really cute this one's actually from this month i think it's really new so yeah, I think it's such a cute like little piece. So these little kitties on the pumpkins, a really small one. And then the last one is the stitch along from, again, one of the cross stitch magazines. I don't remember which ones, but it's this one, which is obviously a bigger piece because it's like a yearly stitch along, but that is the 
tenth piece. So if I am going to do this ID, which I don't know yet, I would list them all down, give them all a number from one from zero to nine, and then each day I would look at my phone, see like, oh, today it's gonna be 20 degrees, and then that ends with a zero. So I would go to my whip number zero and do a hundred stitches on that, maybe 50, maybe just a fret, I don't know yet. And that way I would get some work on all of these, but my main focus will still be on my main rotation. So like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet, but it's an idea I'm having. Uh, the main thing stopping me right now is money because I would need to buy a lot of fabric for it. And that's just expensive, obviously. Um, also, I do get stressed out by having too many whips and I'm like, I would get so little progress on these, but maybe that's fine if I do it in like this way. And then when I finish one of the whips in my main rotation, I can replace it with one for my temperature stitching. So that's my idea right now. I'm just gonna wait until I don't feel like I have a fever anymore, even though I don't have a fever, but like when I feel well again, I'm gonna see if I still really wanna do this or not. If I do still really wanna do this, then I think I'm probably just gonna do it. And um, if not, I will disappoint you probably and won't do it. But um, yeah, I'll tell you when I know. But those are just some ideas I'm having. And since I spent like an hour or two thinking about it, I figured I would share it with you all. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think I should do this? Do you think I'm crazy and should not do this? Um, do you think there's like some middle way? Like maybe just start a couple of projects and all, all ton of them? I don't know. Uh, it was already kind of difficult to narrow it down to 10, but yeah. I want to start all of them, so maybe. But I also want to like make progress on all of them and that won't happen if I start 10 new things. So yeah, I don't know. Um, that's it for right now. I didn't do a lot of stitching today. Day isn't over yet, but I probably won't get a lot of stitching done. Um, definitely won't finish the Sabrina rotation as I told yesterday. Uh, we'll just see how far we get. See you in the next clip. Hey all, it is now Tuesday evening. I still feel pretty crappy. So I'm probably not gonna get much more stitching in today, but I did finish my rotation on Sabrina. So this is what it looks like right now. I only had to do like 150 more stitches. I did 200 more to finish the frets. I did a total of 1,063 on this piece. Um, I focused on this part at first, but then I finished what was in the hoop and I moved on to here and did a couple of the words in that phrase. So this is what it looks like total now. I am a little over 46%, which is really cool. I am getting pretty close to 50%. I don't remember where I was when I started, so I don't know how much like progress I made percentage wise so I don't know if, how much longer until I reach 50% but we're getting pretty close so that's pretty exciting um yeah and we're just gonna pick my next whip now got them okay so these are already done so these four are still left in the rotation we're just gonna shuffle and pick one and then I'll show that to you when I actually start stitching. I don't know if that will be today or not. Because I'm really tired, but I'm also too tired to do other things. So I might just end up trying to stitch just to like kill time until I can go to sleep. Uh, the kids. Okay, so that's at least a pretty easy one. Um, that is Festival of Cappadocia by Riolis. Um, it is with wool, which is not necessarily a like bad but it's just different so it always takes a little bit to get used to but uh i do like that one and my goal for that is 1500 stitches and yeah well i'll grab that in a little bit and i'll show you where i'm at i think i've worked on it three times so far and we're it go, it's going pretty quickly so yeah i'm excited to work on that one again uh, I think I'm going to go up, though, towards, like, the sky area. Um, that will make more sense when I show it to you in a bit. But last time I worked on the ground and, like, the shrubbery, and I got really sick of that. <laughs> so I think to give myself, like, a little bit of a break, I'm going to work on, like, 
more of the top section now and then next time we can work on the shrubbery again um, the shrubbery isn't even like bad it's just very much all the same and you can't really see that anything is happening um, it's a lot of different colors but while you're stitching it's like why am i stitching all these different colors it's like not making anything and then yeah when you've done like a portion you can see like oh yeah that's kind of like a bush but yeah it's not super fun I don't think or at least last time I didn't think it was I've only done it once so I think this time we'll just move upwards and then next time we can continue on the bottom on the shrubbery uh yeah Ooh, I'm tired from speaking uh, I'm gonna go rest for a bit and then I think I will show it to you today but it might be tomorrow you'll find out in the next clip it's like half an hour later I think um this is my starting point for a festival in Cappadocia. Oh, I haven't shown you what it will look like finished. Let me do that first. So this is what it will look like finished. Like I said, just a realist kit using everything that came in the kit. And yeah. Um, this is where I'm at right now. So I started in the middle and then I worked my way to the bottom right because that's my preferred starting point. And I think right now I will move onto this section like i said i just don't really feel the mood to do the bottom section so we're just gonna move up while i'm in the mood for that um moving up is a lot of block stitching though i don't know if i'll reach the sky yet because there's still like this mountainy area so that's what i will be doing first um yeah we'll just see how far we get might get some stitching on in this balloon but i think i'll mostly focus on the mountainy area first and yeah, I'm just gonna go start stitching now. I'll see you next time. Hi, it is now Friday. Um, I don't really have much stitching to show you. I can show you what I, how far I'm at Cappadocia right now. I did quite a lot already. I think I did almost a thousand stitches, like 900 stitches. And I am loving the way it looks. Like I finished this mountainy area and I wanted to go with the sky next. But by doing this, I did a lot of these like bands already so i wanted to finish those off at least first and i love the way you can like see the creases you can't see them that well when you're like close to it in real life but on camera or when you like have it far away it looks so real so i think that looks awesome uh that's not why i'm filming though so i'm not feeling as ill anymore which is great news i but i am still thinking about starting 10 things which is less good news but exciting and nonetheless so now i need your advice so there are a couple of things I'm thinking about. So one is, should I do this or not? That's the first thing I need advice on. Like, this is crazy for me. Like I have eight whips and that has like grown over the last year from like, I don't know, when I started Flosstop, I had like two or three and I have eight. So it has grown, but that's been like over one to two years. So starting Santa, like a short amount of time is crazy for me. So first I need your advice, should I even do that? <laughs> um, and the second is how should I format that? Because I have a couple different ideas floating in my head. So they are mainly inspired by like Jen's videos, Sisk Allen's videos. Um, I don't know if I've seen any others, but um, there's also Whip Go that's like in my mind. So that's from Jesse Marie Does Stuff. Um, a lot of people are doing like games with cross stitching and I'm from like the booktube era, not era, but like area, I guess. Um, I am I grew up watching booktube and not floss tube. So I've been more like active filming floss tubes, but I've watched booktube for like years and years and years. And there have been a lot of games people have played to like figure out which books they're going to read in a month. So that is not new for me, but I love seeing that people are doing similar things in floss tube now and I kind of want to join that so I'm like thinking do I want to pick a game to like figure out my like stitching or do I want to do the temperature thing I mentioned earlier and if I do do a thing do I do a game I mean like which game should I do which game would be fun to like convert into a stitchy game um I'm probably also gonna be watching like a couple of booktubers with like their tbr game seeing like what inspires me to like convert into a stitching version but i'd also love your ideas like 
which board games did you love growing up or do you think could be really fun to do like stitchy versions of um but then also um how am i going to format that like am i going to do big goals and include all my whips in that or am i going to do it like i thought about earlier where i just still focus on my eight eight main whips but then do like tiny goals for the 10 new ones and like play the game to see what those are but then like the goals won't be like bigger than a hundred stitches or so you know so that's what I'm thinking about as well I'm leaning more towards that so that I like come up with a game that has like the 10 new whips in it and then the goals are like I don't know what the goals would be like like maybe 50 stitches or 100 stitches or just a thread or like maybe a random number between one and a hundred or something like that. I'm not sure yet. I'm still like very much brainstorming, but that's what I'm thinking about right now. Um, Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I just don't have any of the details done yet. So I would love some advice on like what you think would be cool to see as well. Because if I do that, I think I would um still do this vlog wise, but obviously you'd have more clips because I would try and film every morning when I like play the game and then once I've done those stitches show those to you um but yeah I'm really excited about that so I think I'm gonna do something but I just don't know what I want to do yet so yeah probably gonna like I said watch a couple of booktubers play their games and see if there's anything I can think of like growing up my games my favorite games were like Cluedo and stuff um I think it's Clue in America um but I don't know how I would convert that so I'm thinking about maybe doing something like Cluedo, Cluedo or um I know Monopoly is something people are already doing and I would like something a bit more like original like something different from other channels but I could also just do Monopoly because you know it's fun and other people are doing it as well so maybe um there's also life that i played a lot but again i don't know how i would convert that um snakes and ladders is probably quite easy to convert so maybe i would do that i don't know uh, i also really love trivial pursuits but again i don't know how i would convert that so that is more difficult again um but maybe like with the booktube things, it's easier because you have like a prompt and you can pick any of the books you have to read. Um, but this would have to fit like the 10 whips. So like I know that someone did or is doing um, like trivia, Trivial Pursuits TBR game. But then when they pick a card, it's like pick a book with a red cover or something, you know, you have a lot more options. But I could do something like that as well. So, yeah, um, I did once make a Trivial Pursuit game based on, like, me and my friends for my birthday, like, last year. And that was really fun. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about it a lot. Um, what should I do? Let me know your opinions. I'm also, like, thinking maybe there would be, like, places to land on the board where I would just focus on my, like, main whip. Or where I would take a break from my main whip and really focus on whatever whip I pick out from the ton. Or, you know, maybe there's like one or two that have like bigger goals. I don't know. I also don't know if I would want to start this immediately or if I would want to finish the border on six first. Because that's like my current daily stitching. And I don't know if I could do that plus the game plus my main ribs. So, but I think once I've figured it out, I'll want to start immediately. So, yeah, I don't know. I also need to order the fabric and <laughs> look at my mom or my mom's friends really nicely and see if they will cut it to sizes and search the edges because I don't know how to do that. And from the fabric I've, like, looked at, I would have to definitely cut them into separate pieces to do the different whips. So, also, it's quite expensive to buy fabric. <laughs> but I'm really excited about this. I think I will do something like this i just don't know what chats um yeah let me know your thoughts 
I also really love like collecting games, but I don't know how that would work. But I like the idea of like having a game board where you have to collect different things. And then once you have like something complete, you would get a reward. But then I also don't know what the reward would be because I don't want to add more new starts. So that's also like a... Maybe the reward could be a new start, but I would have to finish something first. So there are a couple of small things in the 10 I want to start. So maybe the idea could be that like, if I collect everything from whatever game I decide to play, um, I could have a new start as long as something has been finished. But then if I do that, I would have like an empty spot in my like list of things. But then I guess if I roll the empty spot, I could maybe choose what I work on or work on my focus whips. I don't know. This is really just fake ideas. Vague. It sounds like I'm saying fake. It's like not fake. It's vague. I, I can't say the difference, but it's like unclear. Not not real. If you don't you know, catch my drift. Um. Yeah, I'm just brainstorming. Uh, I don't know what I want to do, but I want to do something and I'm really excited about it. So that is really fun because I've not really been excited for things lately. Um, just everything has been crazy in real life. It's been busy. I've been exhausted. So it's nice to be feel like this excitement again. So I want to do it because I want to like promote feeling like this, but I don't know what I want to do. So yeah. I'm thinking, not Clue, but like something along the lines of Clue, but why I would have to collect all the like weapons and people and rooms. And I would probably change those to fit other things. Like I'm thinking maybe weapons could be tools, like needles or hoops and stuff like that. But then, yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of work to make, but that sounds fun, right? So I don't know. I'm thinking maybe something like that, but... And I don't know how that would work in like practicality. So I don't know. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Hmm. I'm starting to like get some ideas, which is fun. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna draw some things up and see, but also definitely let me know your ideas. Um, I am gonna try and get my stitches for Cappadocia done today or tomorrow and then to edit this video and upload it so that you can actually tell me your ideas but um I haven't even edited and uploaded last week's video yet which is so stupid because it's been done for ages um I need to go do that I need to edit last week's video finish Cappadocia rotation so I can edit, film this like and this vlog and, and upload it so you can actually tell me your ideas. And yeah, then I can come up with an idea. Also, I need to order fabric, but I need to look if I can afford fabric right now or if I need to wait until I've got more money again. <laughs> so yeah, this is so exciting. Yeah, I'm happy I'm gonna do something like this. I just don't know what exactly yet, but I'm happy. This is going to be fun. Hi, it is now Saturday the 21st and this is the last clip of this vlog video. Um, I finished my rotation on Cappadocia. I accidentally put it in a bag already, so ignore the zipper. Um, but yeah, I finished my rotation. Like I said, I did 1550. 45 stitches on it. So I finished up this mountainy area and then I did a lot in this balloon. My plan had been to go into the sky, but because the color is gray, like we were also in this these sections, I just naturally started working on the balloon. So I just went with that. So yeah, this is what it looks like now. I love the way this is looking. This goes so easily. Um, Last time when I worked on this section, it definitely went a lot slower than this section. Uh, there are some blends in here. I might have mentioned that before. I keep being confused about that. Um, I just keep forgetting they're there, I think. Um, but it's fine. It's like not a big deal. But it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I think the first realist kit I did 
did not have any blends so that's just yeah it's just different but i don't mind them um yeah i think it looks really cool so i am now at i think it was 60 let me double check yeah i'm at 16.82 percent so you know that's pretty good i've worked on it four times so far so i think that's pretty good I've done a total of 6,107 stitches and it is like 36,000 ish stitches, like a little over that. So we're getting there slowly, but uh, yeah, this one, it goes quicker than I imagined, which is always a nice surprise. Like every time I'm surprised by how quickly it goes, except for the time I worked in the bushes that then I was surprised by how slowly it went, but that's fine. Um, let, that is Festival in Cappadocia. Then I'm also going to show you where I'm at at six right now. I've just continued doing the 53 stitches a day for this section. So nothing too special to see. I'm not gonna get it out of the hoop right now. You've seen it earlier in the clip, I think, or in last week's video. I'm not quite sure anymore. No, probably last week's video. Um, what it looked like if full. I won't show it now because uh, I need to finish this section first, but in next, the next vlog you will see it again when I finish this section, I will move the hoop and show it in its entirety. But yeah, this is getting quite nice. Um, it's, it's slow going, but like we're getting there. I think it's so exciting that I'm like working on the border now, like the most left area, uh, I guess. So I, I don't know, it's all border, but like, the edge of the border like this is I won't go far to the left here which is pretty cool I think like we're slowly closing in on like having it all finished um anyway that is what this looks like uh I'm a bit all over the place as I'm sure you've noticed I don't know why um it's quite hot again after like a couple of days of like cooler weather so I think that's partially why um but anyway thank you so much for watching please give me your advice on what I should do about my plans. Um, I'm still not sure. I think I'll do something, but I, even that I'm not 100% sure about. So also like tell me if you think like, hey, you're going crazy. Don't do 10 new starts. That's like not something you're going to be happy with in a month. Like feel, please feel free to tell me that if that's what you think as well. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I would love all of your advice. So do you think I should start new stuff? Do you think I should make a game out of it? Uh, if yes, what kind of game would you like to see? So just all of that, let me know. And I'm going to leave off now. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Again, uh, I'm pretty sure I just said I would see you in the next clip. I'm not going to see you in the next clip. That was the end of the video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.